Hi guys! Hi, Dad. Happy Fashion Awards! Woo! We've all gotten dressed up and not gone anywhere because right now everyone's staying home to stay safe. But it was nice to actually have a reason to put on something a little bit fancier. What what, what are you women wearing today? A little silk broad dress. Oh, nice. Ducky, what's the what's the jacket? I'm desperate to see the jacket. Hey. Oh, this is Mugler, so I've got that going on. <laughs> it's kind of squeaky, but it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> How has 2020 been for all of you guys? Have you realized anything about yourselves? Have you picked up any quarantine habits? My awesome has not gone on. <laughs> I've been like doing a lot of meditating as much as possible. I just wanted to fly away to an island, but since that wasn't possible, I just like was thinking portal, not prison, and <laughs> meditating. And I have my singing bowls and everything where I'm like, I need to just like remember that this will be over soon and to just find my chill. Like, I love find my chill. 2020 has been such a surreal, uh, insane, troubling, and ultimately, I hope, inspiring and game changing year. It's nice that the BFC acknowledged not only the fashion moment, but also the moment of social justice, the cultural moments. I don't know about you guys, but it left me with a kind of a bit of a fuzzy, a fuzzy, warm feeling because um, even though it was highlighting the difficult moments, it also was very reassuring. It kind of reminded me that, you know, through even adversity, communities like the fashion industry when people come together incredible things um, can happen and people can adapt and the fact that we've been able to adapt in many ways throughout this pandemic is um, I don't know I think is, is quite incredible and very inspiring I feel like so many things were wrong just even when we think about like environmental impact and everyone in fashion has been saying that they've been struggling with that for years and it's like there have been this moment just in terms of fashion to, to be able to, for everybody I think to have a break and like think how are we going to be more sustainable how are we going to just like impact the world in a better way totally and making sure also that we end up staying on this you know, path of consciousness. It felt like maybe this was this time it had to happen. Obviously, this year cracked open a lot of conversations that needed to be happening in fashion. Put a magnifying glass on some problems. The highlight of Black Lives Matter and how important it is for everyone to find how they can be an activist within this movement. It just was something that went from really dark and uncertainty to just like a huge huge boost of hope like it was a, a sigh of relief that and, and it was exciting to remember that you know there is unity that can be found throughout all of the drama that we've gone through so that for me really just lifted everything for 2020. I mean honestly just following off what Precious was saying I think Black Lives Matter was such an incredible moment for you know a, a lot of people I just think I had so many conversations that I've never felt the, the room to have before. It's so great just being in my position. I'm able to bring a new conversation to the table, especially with work. You know, I've never been in this position before in my career. I think it's so great that I'm able to kind of bring a voice for people where they just can't. It's really beautiful to know that, you know, there's support everywhere because everyone knows what's going on, you know. Everyone's not going to shove this conversation to the side. It's, and it really it weighed heavily on me and I know it did for so many other people. So just being able to come together collectively um, has been really beautiful.